Hi, I'm Rod from Garden Crossings. Heidi got to plant her plant uh, pot a couple minutes ago. These two or these three are mine. Um, I'm going to plant one of them up right now. And these two are going to match. And they, I am also planting these in our eco, uh, not eco, our, our aqua pot. Again, there's a water reservoir in the bottom. And after watering them in a couple times, we'll just fill up the tube, throw some fertilizer down in there, and fill it every five days roughly. And uh, we should have beautiful plants all summer long, but let's get planting here. So first of all, I have the Nemesia. It's one of my favorite Nemesias. It's, it was new a couple years ago, and Nemesia Aer Aeromance. <laughs> Aeromance. Aeromance. Mulberry. So we'll just call it Mulberry for the fun of it. <laughs> and I got three of them I'm going to plant in here right along the front. Now this Nemesia tends to not go, not rot out or uh, in the summer or stop flowering. It's a really great plant. So hopefully Proven Winters does more breeding with different colors uh, with this plant. Um, it likes it cool and it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't stop flowering or it doesn't just disappear and die when, in the heat. A lot of your Nemesias, kind of remind me as a pansy they um they tend to die off in the summer months but now proven winners has been uh working with different breeders to help breed a longevity into this plant so next i have super tunia saffron finch how many times did we sell out of this one this year rod uh, this one we sold out of a number of times. I knew this one was going to be a good one. There's a few other ones that, um, if you watch previous videos, I, I was a little hesitant on and I was wrong. Hoopla and Pink Cashmere, Super Tunia Hoopla. Um, I didn't think it was going to go as well, but we sold out of that one too, so I was wrong. Um, and then Pink Cashmere as well for the Verbena side. But I really like uh, Saffron Finch and I'm going to use it in my pots this year. So we tuck that little yellow there. And Heidi and I are very symmetrical. So we really have to tuck one on the other side as well. And when we're all said and done, you're gonna see a lot of purple uh, in front of the house. So that's why I kind of stayed with the uh, Superbina Sparkling Amethyst. It is probably one of my favorite uh, Superbinas or Verbenas. It's just got a great habit and continues to flower throughout the summer. So again, it plays off that yellow really, really nice. And again, I'm going to put one on the other side as well. Now, in the center, we have the brand new plant for 2025. Um, it's salvia unplugged white. Now there's been a number of unplugged in the, in the series, but not a white one. I'm usually not a fan of white, but, um, I'm going to see how this one does. I mean, I say I'm not a fan, but, uh, white just pops anywhere, especially when the sun's starting to set. Um, and we've noticed that with, uh, sun impatient white. And that's been a, a big favorite of mine. So I'm going to try this one. I know Unplugged So Blue, I believe it is, has been a great plant. And if this has the same habit and it's in the white color, we'll see what white does. If the flower tends to die off and look brown, well, then it's not going to be a great plant. But, you know, that's why we do trials and we see what we like. And that way we can experiment with these plants prior to selling them to you next spring. So there I got it all planted up. It will be in the front of the house. Um, I'll plant another one just like it. And we'll see how it does. We will keep you updated throughout the summer. This is Rod from Garden Crossings.